Welcome, Warrior graduates. My name is Mark Nigliazzo, and I'm the president of Texas A&M University, Central Texas. I'm speaking to you today from the atrium of the Beck Family Heritage Hall on campus. Not at all, of course, where I expected to be on May the 9th, the date scheduled for our spring 2020 commencement ceremony. COVID-19 has unfortunately changed those plans, as I know you are all well aware. But that doesn't make this date any less significant for each of you, because it's still your date of graduation from Texas A&M University, Central Texas. It's still the date that we will officially confer your degree. And though we can't do it in the manner we've all come to know and love, with each of you making that emotional walk across the stage in front of hundreds of proud and cheering family and friends, in front of university faculty, staff, and dignitaries, in front of your classmates, with all of us chanting warriors at the end. It's still a great day because you will receive the bachelor's or master's degree that you've worked so hard to complete. And you'll take your well-earned place among the almost 8,000 warrior alumni who will have received their degrees at this still very young university. You know, I deliberately chose to deliver these words to you today in this building, in front of this wall behind me, this legacy wall, this history wall, because this wall captures the many years of dedication, perseverance, and downright stubborn determination of so many community, military, and political leaders who believed that this university should exist and that it should be accessible to all those from this region of Central Texas who might not otherwise have an opportunity to pursue that bachelor's or master's degree if it did not exist. Some of those folks are captured in these pictures behind me. Some along the wall to my right that we recognize as warrior legends. Some would not live to see the fulfillment of their dream, which was always to see students like you pursue a meaningful degree, complete it, and make a difference in your own lives and in the lives of others. Because they knew that each student's achievement would confirm the clarity of their founding vision for this university that it would be a university dedicated to both excellence and inclusion, and whose graduating students would be the ultimate measure of its success. So this is truly your day, and my congratulations to you on behalf of the university and the entire Texas A&M University system is for what you have each achieved. Today, we celebrate you. And I encourage you to think of and thank those who helped you get here. Family, friends, teachers, those who may have consoled you when you struggled and pushed you when you thought you might not be able to finish, and those who showed their love for you without reservation. And I encourage each of you to take a few minutes alone sometime later today to let it really sink in. The effort you gave, the degree you've earned, its potential impact on the rest of your life. It took a warrior spirit to get here. And now with great pride, this university congratulates each of you and recognizes you not simply as graduates, but as warriors. Graduates, we have two very special presentations for you today, and two individuals representing the Texas A&M University system. First, congratulations will come from Mr. John Sharp, 
Chancellor of the Texas A&M University System. Hello, I'm John Sharp, Chancellor of the Texas A&M University System, and it's my honor and privilege to congratulate you, the 2020 graduate. I commend you for the fortitude, determination, and perseverance you've exhibited during trying and challenging times. Obviously, this is not the commencement ceremony you hoped for or expected, but it's probably one we will not soon forget. Typically, at this point in the ceremony, I would remind you that none of us knows what the future holds for you as you go into the next chapter of your life. Today's pandemic is a harsh reminder of that truth. As college graduates, you are better prepared than most to adapt to change, and change will come many, many times in your life. I have no doubt you're prepared for it, thanks in large part to what you learned during your time with us. So on behalf of the Texas A&M system, faculty, staff, and administration, congratulations to you, your families and friends and loved ones who celebrate with you today. Second important congratulations to you today comes from Ms. Elaine Mendoza, Chair of the Texas A&M University System Board of Regents. Chair Mendoza is actually going to give us the authority to confer your degrees, so listen carefully. Hello, I am Elaine Mendoza, Chairman of the Board of Regents for the Texas A&M University System. I am honored to bring greetings on behalf of the entire Board of Regents. Today is a special day while this may not be the graduation you hope to experience, nothing, nothing can take away from you the significance of earning your degree and graduating with your diploma. This is big. Do you remember the excitement and anticipation you felt the day you found out you were accepted? The anxiousness of the first day of the class, the joys and surely some fear and heartache you felt. The friendships and transformational learning experience you had finding your way to this very day. Your hard work paid off. You did it. Graduates, we are counting on you to do great things. We all should feel better knowing that you, each of you who have navigated unprecedented challenges to finish what you began, will be our neighbors, leaders, and visionaries. So live with purpose, Godspeed, and congratulations. Now, by the authority of the Texas A&M University System Board of Regents, it is my sincere pleasure to authorize Texas A&M University Central Texas to confer the respective academic degree for which you have been recommended with all the rights, privileges, responsibilities, and obligations pertaining thereto. Graduates, my name is Peg Ray Vickery. I'm the Provost and Vice President for Academic and Student Affairs at Texas A&M University Central Texas. I'd like to commend you for your resilience, your perseverance, and your indomitable warrior spirit as you completed your educational goals. You may not know this, but you are an inspiration to countless others that also dream of obtaining a university degree. Through you, they know this is not just a dream now, but a real possibility. It is now my privilege to present the candidates that have earned their degrees at Texas A&M University, Central Texas. President Nigliazzo, I certify that these candidates have completed all their requirements for their degrees, and I now recommend that the degree to which they are individually entitled be conferred. In response to Dr. Gray Vickery, I'm gonna read some words that in essence, you've already heard from Chairman Mendoza, but I don't think you'll mind hearing them again. By the authority vested in me by the Board of Regents of the Texas A&M University System, acting under the enabling legislation which serves as a charter of this university, I now confer upon each of you the degree to which you are entitled, with all the rights, privileges, and responsibilities pertaining thereto. Congratulations to all of you.